Okay, so here is the current coffee situation. Uh, a number of people have asked about what it looks like, what I've done, everything else. So I decided to go with a uh, IKEA top. So this is an IKEA mounted uh, kind of storage unit that you could put anywhere in your house or garage. Uh, to base everything off of. My whole point was to get the top set up here to be really the main part of this, obviously. So uh, Mocha Master for the everyday coffee. You have a big party, you have lots of people. It's easy, it's mindless, but also uh, the pour over function of the Mocha Master I find to be really what you would want if you want a really good coffee machine at home and you don't wanna do pour overs, then get a Mocha Master. Uh, Vario grinder I've had for a long, long time. It was my grinder forever. It's still around, still trusty. Uh, that's basically become the grinder for my day-to-day -day use of uh, pour overs and or the Mocha Master. Got basic Hario scale. It is absolutely fantastic. It's got a timer on it. Again, pour overs, just wait, no big deal. I got my tamping station, so I got the decent espresso uh, tamping block. I have their spring-loaded um, tamper as well. I have the niche set up specifically just for my espresso grinding. Uh, I find the niche to be a really fantastic um, espresso grinder. If you're ever looking for something that's gonna get you there, uh, it does come with a little dosing funnel, etc. I have put on the, uh, a bracket so that you can put your portafilter right underneath. I think everyone these days needs some kind of, uh, of bracket. For example, this funnel uh, goes on top of the portafilter so that if you put your portafilter in there and then it sits on top for your, your coffee. So it helps that come down and make sure that your grinds are distributed there and they don't spread all over the table. Uh, basic little Bruista scale for espresso. Fits on every espresso machine I've ever had. So that makes it easy if you wanna weigh your shots and a basic tamping. Cornerstone of the whole thing is absolutely definitely the decent espresso machine. Waited a long time for that bad boy. Um, it's super, super fantastic. I love the data on it and it's something that I am going to enjoy for a long, long time. I am going to be mounting it inside the table. So I'm going to be getting the decent uh, countersink mount, I guess, be able to put that there and then hook up uh, a water supply uh, to the machine. So I'll have it kind of mini plumbed in in this moment. And then I'll be using um, uh, a new uh, drainage system to actually suck out the water and just put it into a basket. Second shelf, really for ease, just kind of current coffee situation. Just finishing a bag from Roasty uh, and tried some of this Blue Sky Espresso from 49th Parallel, which is super dark. Uh, not my favorite jam, but I think for that it's good. I got some Lavazza the other day to just test out some things and then a bunch of roasters from Toronto. I also put my filters up here. So if I'm doing pour overs uh, or anything like that, bottom shelf, really more tools, kind of cleaning some stuff up, beans, grinders, puck puck for cold brew, AeroPress, uh, the um, portable espresso, French press, my Chemex, my siphon when it's all super science day. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the current situation. So a few more things to come on the coffee station, uh, a few more items to set up, um, some more tools. I'm gonna get into some WDT tools uh, to work on the grinds and that whole distribution stuff and then flush mount. But basically this is currently how it stands. I have a couple of lights under here, uh, push LED lights that just kind of light it up but all in all, super stoked by the size, the space, the durability. I could cut this top if I want, put holes in it. Um, I could buy a new one and just simply put a new tabletop in there. And I think that would be relatively easy, but that's the start of the coffee station for 2021. So thanks for watching.